This is modern-day Puerto Penasco, a city of almost 60,000 people. A coastal town steeped in Mexican tradition and culture, it serves as a vacation destination for hundreds of thousands of people yearly. The main industry in Rocky Point by far is tourism. Dating as far back as America's prohibition, people would travel from New Mexico, Arizona, and California to enjoy the warm waters and freedom to sample the local tequila. The town remained a low-key vacation spot for years until 1993 when a push was started to make Puerto Penasco a major Mexican tourism center. The government joined with private investors to build condominiums and other facilities in the city. The goal has been to take advantage of the area's proximity to the United States while encouraging development of large hotels and resorts, much like the economic success of a similar plan in Cancun, which was a near-empty coastline before the government planned to develop the area. This similar success is now seen in Rocky Point. The area has seen a spike in tourism and the construction of resorts, condos, houses, and restaurants. As a result of the prospering economy, a culture of migration was birthed. Mexicans looking for a quick paycheck begin to pour into the region. Puerto Penasco has remained relatively quiet over the past several years. Free from most of the drug-related violence that is so actively devastating other parts of the country, this doesn't stop the Mexican government from routinely using military patrols and federal police to conduct operations in and around the city. The various cartels still operate, controlling everything from drug trade to human trafficking. We spoke with one local resident that said Rocky Point was considerably safer than other towns because of a zero tolerance the cartels have towards violence against tourists. Mexico's economy isn't the strongest, and even the most violent criminals in the country still try to aid tourism. While the fish market sees growth and increases in tourism, areas like Rodeo Drive are facing a sobering reminder of the dynamic nature of economic hardships in tourist areas. There just haven't been any new developments on this side of town due to the shift in tourist areas. Vendors struggle to attract customers and a majority of the shops are closed. Efforts to rehabilitate the area have hit hard economic times since the 2007 recession. In addition, federal dollars have been redirected from tourism budgets to aid in fighting the drug cartels. Yet, with the increases in both constructions and development, the area is beginning to rely more heavily on the increased tourism and the city's expanding service industry. She originally moved to Puerto Penasco to be closer to the ocean and have a better life for her children. But the economy has made their move rough. They rent their own stand as they work as a family, five days a week, selling candies, desserts, and churros. Stories like these aren't unique. People of all different walks of life move to live, work, and play in Rocky Point. The steady growth and migration to the city is a clear sign that the economy is getting better and the development is strengthening local infrastructure. If Puerto Penasco is known for anything other than tourism, it's fishing. The warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico have offered an abundance of delicious shrimp, flounder, and marlin. Around 1965, the global price of shrimp skyrocketed, and the fishing industry in Rocky Point began to flourish. Hundreds of commercial fishermen began making their way to the coastal town, and once again, the town experienced the economic joys of being able to provide a product that was not easily obtainable. Recent years have seen a change in the price of shrimp and fish, as well as the locations exporting seafood. The fishing industry in Rocky Point hasn't kept pace with larger international shrimping operations in countries like Thailand and China. These foreign markets are able to catch and export seafood for significantly less than it costs in Puerto Penasco. The fishing fleet in port itself are outdated and have become an encumbrance to development. Countless boats are docked and no longer used or serviced, while trash and debris has filled the bay. In this boatyard, large shrimping boats look as if they have been sitting for years, while pleasure boats sit, tied up for repairs, likely after being found to be unsafe for the ocean. The bay remains lined with broken down boats, preventing the construction of new docks or even shoreside businesses. Cruise ship companies are pushing for restoration and dredging of the bay to allow the city to become another Mexican port of call. 
Foreign investment in the fishing industry is limited because of the port's varying states of disrepair. Tens of millions of dollars are needed before the area can be developed and accommodate modern boats and fishing vessels. Before the area can see an increase in maritime activities and commercial growth, safety and maintenance will need to be a strong priority. Poor maintenance and care, even on recreational boats, can lead to accidents like this one in early 2012. This three-story cruise ship sank just outside the bay, costing the life of an American tourist. This is Senor Camarón. He has spent over a quarter of a century living in Puerto Penasco, selling mainly shrimp at his hand-built shack across the street from where the shrimp boats dock. Para buscar otro, otro trabajo mejor, uh -huh. porque allá mucho trabajo y no mucho dinero. Uh -huh. <laughs> mucho trabajo y no, y aquí hay menos trabajo y más dinero. Uh -huh. Es diferente. Y está más bien, uh -huh. más a gusto trabaja uno. Uh, Económicamente está mejor, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y allá no. Uh, eh, la vida es diferente. Eh, el tipo de trabajo, eh, el tipo de comida. Todo diferente, no es, no es igual que aquí. Yeah. Y allá no habla inglés uno, no habla inglés porque todos hablan español. ¿Con quién va a hablar inglés? Con nadie. No entienden el inglés. <risa> Puro español. ¿Y cómo es que sabes inglés? 25 años trabajando en esto, tiene que grabárselo todo. Si no, pues buscar otro trabajo. Pero aquí nos quedamos. Y... Mr. Shrimp regularly drives between Rocky Point and Phoenix, delivering shrimp and seafood to local area restaurants. He says he caters to Americans because they will pay a higher price. Domestic restaurants, foreign exporters, and locals demand better deals on his seafood. He works hard, but the limitations of the area restrict the market value for his shrimp. What is clear, by looking around the port, is many repairs and improvements will need to be made for the city to support a larger shipping fleet or host international cruise ships. In the early 1990s, leaders from the Federal District of Mexico implemented a plan to building up Puerto Penasco into a commercialized tourism destination, similar to plans that had been implemented in Cancun and Cabo. Under this plan, the city would receive government subsidies to modernize infrastructure and roads, while programs were set up to attract investors into the area. The first resort, Plaza Las Glorias was built in the early 1990s and is now one of the many constructions along the sandy beach. In 2001, with the backing of the Mexican government, large, multinational corporations began to move into the area. With this international interest began the constructions on enormous new hotels, resorts, and condos. Manicured lawns, oversized pools, and swim-up bars now have taken the place of smooth, sandy beaches. These developments are bringing thousands of jobs into the area, not just temporary construction jobs, but permanent full-time positions. Cleaners, maintenance workers, staffs, and other service jobs. The area has seen an influx of national chains, superstores. From the supermarket, Bodega Rura, to home and construction supply stores, these stores mark a new era of life in Rocky Point. The once quiet fishing village is now fully embracing its tourism industry. The beach and desert areas provide a virtual playground. Activities like four-wheeling, banana boats, scuba diving, and paragliding provide great getaways for tourists while providing valuable employment to locals. Yet, with all these new constructions, empty and unfinished buildings litter the coastline, a reminder of failed and bankrupted development plans. Hotels, houses, warehouses, and factories sit vacant for years while builders work hard constructing new properties. As thousands of new condos and resorts are built and sold along the sandy beach, half-finished buildings sit slowly, falling out of repair. With the increasing trend of tourism expected to be sustained, Puerto Penasco will continue to host foreign investors as locals work in the profitable service industry. Despite the recent economic downturn and local hardships, construction and the purchase of land continues at a steady rate. The changes and developments in Puerto Penasco are bringing outside revenue and interest from foreign investors. With a little luck, progress and development will continue in the area, bringing a stronger economy and increased standard of living.